Hi, I'm Aaron Yevis, and welcome back to Coach's Corner. I'm here with my very own coach, Thornton. Aaron, thanks for having me. What's going on? It's good to see you. Coach Thornton heads the uh, track program here at Passaic Valley, um, and this season he took on both winter and spring. So what was it like coaching winter for the first time? I was excited. Uh, I have coached as an assistant at uh, my other school before I came to Passaic Valley uh, in the winter track. So I knew at one point when I came here I wanted to eventually work my way back to the winter program. But coming over, uh, taking over as the head in the program, it was, uh, it was uh, important for me to do. And I was something I was very excited to take over. Uh, having the opportunity as the boys spring coach to now be the boys and girls in the winter and bring everything together. It was a challenge that I wanted to uh, take on. So uh, it was a big, uh, big opportunity and I'm happy I had it. So yeah, uh, I've had Coach Tessarero for two years. So what was it like working with him and uh, kind of just sharing the program? Very good. Uh, I think we work very well together. I knew him before. You know, uh, taking over the program, we had interaction because uh, he coached at Rutherford, so I was able to see him there the, uh, in the spring season, so we had contact. Plus, I knew about him with uh, coaching the indoor season, so I was so happy that he was going to stay on board, stay as on as assistant, and I knew we were going to work uh, very well together. You know, he brought, uh, he brought a lot to the table as an assistant and part of the program. He's an extension of myself. So you just didn't have a head coach and assistant coach. You had a head coach, head coach as assistant, and then also if we're going to bring Coach Capello, a head coach. So you really have three head coaches in a program working together, trying to give you guys the best opportunity so you guys can su succeed. So you've coached outdoor for how many years? Going on ever since I came on here, so at P uh, Passaic Valley, so about 10 years now. Okay, so seeing the competition from the winter season, how do you think, from a coach's perspective because I know for me it's a lot different to compete in the winter season and in the spring season but for you how is it how does it differ the winter and spring are different seasons there if you want to look at it, it's a different beast there's different uh, events uh, you also have a bigger pool of athletes coming in on spring season you have uh, many uh, definitely with the boys and girls basketball it takes up uh, a lot of the athletes are do winter basketball and with the wrestling Takes, uh, takes away from uh, the winter sports. But then in the spring, the athletes come out and I think the competition you know, is, is raised to, a, to another level. Not that I'm talking down and yeah. winter's down a different level because everything is the same, it's equivalent. It's just in spring, it's a different opportunity, you know, different events with different athletes you know, performing their best at, the, at different times. Because I know for me, mm -hmm. um, in indoor, we see a lot more schools at these invitational meets. So I'm running against Cliffside Park, Dumont, Demarest and these big powerhouse schools that I don't see in the outdoor season and the schools that I do see in the outdoor season really don't have those athletes that do come out for the outdoor season so it definitely is a different beast but how do your athletes prepare for well, um, the competition for both of, seasons one of the big thing is uh, in the fall I, I'm, uh, I don't coach in the fall so I have that season off so it's a big opportunity for us to get the athletes into uh, the weight room all right, in there we can get our uh, circuit training, you get your uh, strength training. You could also do our speed work, so that's a big part. Also, with our season, it's a little bit different. We have about three to four weeks to get us ready before the start of the season. So, while the season's going on, we, have, we use that opportunity as almost our preseason to make that transition into run and shape. Because we know, you know exactly, it's a sport that day one, I can't just throw you guys to the wolves. You know, you yeah. have to build to it. Uh, if you jump into, if we look at a practice how we ended winter to where practice we started, it's two, two big differences. You know, uh, we have to, uh, it takes time for athletes to get into running shape. So we so use that opportunity. Here at this school, um, during the winter season, you can catch us running around the hallways. So what do you think from a coach's perspective? Because I know for me, I hate running inside. What do you think are some of the benefits and some of the downsides to training indoors and not on an actual track? Well, one thing is the shin splints. You see that all the time. If you don't have the best shoes, you're going from different surfaces. Uh, if it's cold, you know, if you have a bad winter like we did this year with a lot of snow, you're stuck indoors. So now you're running from the halls, from the halls to the stairs. Every now and then you might go outside on the track if the days warm up or the snow's melted. So then you run on the track. Then all of a sudden you come back indoors. So that, transition is a big difference 
also what you were saying with imitationals of indoor and outdoor, outdoor is a 400 meter track where indoor is a 200 meter track. So now you have more curves, you're running more curves on an indoor track as compared to an outdoor. So that two ways in the sport, there's a big difference between them. You know, with one's outside with the 400 track and one's in the halls, on the streets, in front of the school using the loop, yeah. or the, the stairwells or even the, the back parking lot. So it's a little bit different on the athlete, so you have to take that in consideration with your workouts. Because if you push too hard, shin splints can come, athletes can be fighting that all season. Also injuries, you know, to the, to the knees, to the ankles, to the shins. So um, aside from training, how did your first indoor experience go about? How would you describe it? Because I've been doing it for, well, I've done it for the past four years, and this is your first year coming on. So how did that feel for you? Well, I enjoyed it, you know, and uh, I would have to put it back to you guys to, to see how I feel the program went and how you guys feel the program went, you know, what would be, uh, you know, would be a good uh, determinant factor. But to, to myself, I always listen to my coaches. Every, every decision we do, we do together. So it's, I'm not making the decision and this is what we're going to do. We sit down, we plan, we make our strategies, what's going to work, what's effective, Ultimate decisions mine in the long in the end, but we're we're a team uh, overall as a coach and staff. So we work together to make sure that we're approaching the right way. Then I try to to bring in uh, element, you know, uh, try to bring all different elements. I listen to my coaches. So there's times where they're going to run workouts, and then there's times where I can run a workout. We could bring the two workouts together. So I always look at it that way. And then it's building. Uh, my big thing is. It takes time, and you have been with me a couple of years now. You know yeah. it's about peaking at the right time. So when are, when are the athletes going to peak? We need you to peak at the right time. During, uh, big North Novit, uh, during the Big North, during our Passaic County Championships, and then hopefully ultimate the big show is at our state cha uh, sectional champions. So it's not, a, I, it's not about where we start. It's about where we finish and making sure we finish and uh, at the right time so you guys can peak for the season. But the environment itself, like um, indoor meets, are way different from outdoor meets. There are a lot more schools competing. Um, it's inside, 200 meter track. Um, you're not allowed to wear spikes on some of these yes. tracks. So it's definitely a lot harder to run inside. So what was it like taking that on those challenges and having to get cards in on time and all of that kind of stuff? Yes. The Cards is always the biggest issue for anybody that understands how it works. Invitational, you'll have, you could have 20, 30 schools on an indoor meet. Uh, so getting the cards there, we always did, uh, we always pre-planned. Uh, pre so I already had an idea who's going to run what events and what teams. So as soon as we got there and were able to get the cards, then we could fill 